Hey everyone, welcome back to Living It Country. Today we have another beautiful fall farmhouse home tour to share today on the channel. If you guys haven't caught up on all the fall home tours that we've published so far, make sure you guys check it out in the description box below because we are gonna fill up that fall home tour playlist with hours of home tours and hours of fall inspiration. So make sure to check that out. And today we have my friend Connie from Life on Mercedes Drive here today. We have shared her home for summer 2020 and she is back again sharing her beautiful home. I'm gonna link up above her summer home tour because it's full of inspiration too and I'm so excited to have her fall home tour and you guys are just gonna love how she adds little pieces of antiques and thrifty finds into her home and just, she decorates it so, so beautifully. Her home is just so gorgeous. So I'm so excited to have her here today. And like always, I have a special deal for you guys. Today I have partnered up with Boutique Rugs, which I have shared multiple times before, and they have a special, special discount code for you guys. So with the code COUNTRY60, you guys can save 60% off of your Boutique Rugs order as well as get free shipping and they've got so many awesome clearance items on their website right now so make sure to check that out one thing i love about boutique rugs is they have categories they have best sellers they have newest arrivals they have bohemian style rugs and then they have a section for farmhouse rugs and what i really really love about this is they have shared influencers over at instagram their home pictures and how they've styled their rugs in their spaces so you guys can see how these rugs will fit into your home and your style. Teak Rugs also has home accents so they sell pillows, they sell decorative pieces, furniture, and all sorts of things like that which is super fun. So they have all sorts of variety of products, all sorts of varieties of styles and their quality is just absolutely amazing. I'm actually gonna take you guys into my office right now. I wanna share with you guys one of their rugs that I've had for about five weeks now and I have been a boutique rugs lover for, oh gosh, maybe a year now. I have one in our living room, I have one in our stairs in our other office and I have one now in my office. Okay, so make sure you check out that awesome deal in the description box down below, and let's go ahead and visit Connie's home today. Hello, I am Connie from Life on Mercedes Drive on Instagram. I've been invited again by Holly on Living It Country channel on YouTube to do a fall tour, and I've also been invited to do a Christmas tour. So I'm going to start out with my front porch. I always put a flag in the front porch, uh, just kind of make it festive with the fall flag or 4th of July or Christmas flag, and I make it kind of festive. Uh, this year I was a little bit challenged because I have a cast on my right hand and I'm unable to lift anything. So it uh, is not as decorated as I normally do. This wire wreath here, or this cloth wreath, is the one that I had hanging with red, white, and blue um, back in the summer. And this is a wreath that I made with strips of muslin. And, uh, well, uh, <clears throat> and then I just put a fall wreath on top. Uh, my mums haven't quite bloomed yet, but they are gonna be beautiful when they do. So let's go on in the house. And I'm gonna try to do this with one hand. Here you go. When you walk into my home, you walk into the dining room. Uh, the dining room and a kind of a foyer and the stairs are right there too. I think the last time you didn't, my stairs had a black handrail and I have sanded them down and painted them. I actually painted them with chalk paint and then I put some, about three coats of polyurethane on it. And hopefully they will last. Um, it's just two people in the house, so we shouldn't do a lot of wear and tear, but I really like them all white. It just looks a lot better to me. 
Uh, <clears throat> this is a little table that I normally put some decor in it. And I have some gray and white uh, decor along with my orange, yellows, and, and uh, browns uh, <clears throat> with a checkerboard. My dining room is, I, again, I will talk about my dining room table. This table is, is awesome. I got it for less than $200. I sanded it down, bought some new legs, and um, just left it natural and put polyurethane on it. This dough bowl that I have, this is a really simple way to do a festive centerpiece for your table. I just stuck a bunch of leaves in there, some pumpkins, as you can see, I put a candle in there. I, my deer antlers, I just put in there. I also put a pretty gigantic candy corn that I got at one of the flea markets and just kind of made it all super festive and uh, very, very simple. And it doesn't need anything else. I like the bareness of the table. I like that look and everything. Over here is my two-tiered tray that I just kind of stuffed some acorns and some things here. I put a metallic uh, pumpkin on my jade pedestal to make it look nice. Um, I also like to decor. I like to put out tobacco baskets and I like to put things in them. And so this wreath is amazing. I just like the look of it. Um, it looks really good. It makes the tobacco, it takes a different style with a tobacco basket. So if you had, like, I could have actually done something on these two, but I wanted to leave it a little bit simple and just do this one. Over here is my Raydun cabinet where I keep most of my Raydun. Now, um, this is an area that I normally would have had decorated but I just couldn't lift all the bins because uh, I'm not supposed to lift with my right hand. So I just couldn't lift all the bins with um, that had all of the things that I needed to finish decorating this. Uh, and my husband has been working on godly hours. This has some butterfly lights up here that you can see and it looks really, really cute. <clears throat> I have a crock pot that I filled up with uh, dough bowls and I like the rustic look. Um, I have said that I'm in a transition between rustic and eclectic. <laughs> I just, whatever works. This is my living area. This is a place where I sit and read a lot. Um, <clears throat> I'll start out with the fireplace the mantle. I did not move my mirrors. I decided to leave them there. I will change it up for Christmas because I do the fireplace a little bit different, the mantle. I just put a bunch of leaves and pumpkins and um, just so it'll just look very fall-like and very festive. Uh, <clears throat> my olive bucket has got some leaves in it and um, I always just shove things in there to make it look good. Um, there's my terrarium that I'm sure you, I talked about it the last time. Uh, it's still going strong. Try not to look at my blinds over here because that's an area where my dogs stand there and bark and barking to, to the, whoever's outside and pay, trying to pay, uh, trying to get their attention when they want to be outside and they're supposed to be inside. This wheat wreath is something that you, you guys can do. You just buy a wreath, you put it in front of your, you don't have to move all of your wall decor out, just decorate it, just decorate your decor. I decorate in some, with some very inexpensive things. I, I Most of my stuff is either from flea markets, from garage sales given to me or repurposed. I threw a little orange, pillow there along with my buffalo check there and this table here is one of the things that I was talking about that 
not my entire house is not all farms house style because there are some things that I have that I just have to make work. I paid way too much money years ago for it. And um, I just, I would love a lime berry cart, but I, it's not in the budget this year at all. As I like to layer mirrors, I also layer rugs. I just put a jute rug under here on top of my Orion rug and uh, to give it some texture and to just make it look a little bit more rustic and more farmhouse. Um, this Orion rug is very durable, very, uh, with three dogs in the house, you can definitely uh, see that it has held up. Uh, <clears throat> my chairs, my wing back chairs, I got these at, uh, Facebook flea market or Facebook market. Um, and I bought them both for $25. I restructured them, took out all the old stuffing and everything. And I redid them and made the slip covers for them. And these are super comfy chairs. I love them. They're just amazing. So I'm trying not to go really, really fast because I don't want to drop the camera since I'm holding it with one hand. Um, I'll talk about my printer's trays. My printer's trays are a collection that I have. I have little small collections throughout the house. My printers, I don't put anything in them. Some people put some things in them. I don't do that just because I like the, the look of the rustic. Um, and I'll eventually fill up that whole wall. It's with the COVID-19, uh, I haven't been able to go do a lot, as we all haven't been able to do a lot of shopping or anything. So some of the things are, are as they were in the last tour, but that's only because of the um, COVID-19. Uh, so let's go in the bedroom. My bedroom is an area that I would have done a whole lot more, like I would have done the uh, the wreath, put in another wreath, but I would have had to have stood on the bed and balanced myself on one hand and then tried to put a new wreath up there. So I felt like that was a little bit too dangerous. <laughs> I do go back to the doctor Thursday and he is gonna cut the cast off, so I am so grateful. So what I did here is I just put a tape, uh, a pillow with the, the, you know, orange colors and and um, I hope to change out my bedding for Christmas. I plan on it. Uh, and um, this bench right here was given to me by a friend, and I just love it. Uh, I can't imagine her not liking this, but I just love having it right there. So the most exciting thing that I have to show you today is my new kitchen. So we're gonna walk up to the new kitchen and I had my kitchen remodeled. And the reason I had my kitchen remodeled is because there was a, my granite, which I've never ever heard of this, started cracking and maybe the house settled. I don't know, I have no idea, but it, the house didn't seem to be settling. So I wanted fresh and airy and clean looking. I was tired of the granite. I was tired of the culture, cultural marble on the backsplash. I was tired of the beige colors and I wanted crisp and clean and white. And so I decided to go with quartz and I didn't want any movement, not much movement on the quartz. It has some veiny movements, as you can tell right there, but I didn't want the one that just was very swirly with a lot of movement in it. I was so tired of the granite being so busy that I kind of went completely opposite of what it, um, wh what I had before. The farmhouse sink, I love. It is the best thing that has come into my life. It is something that I have just really enjoyed. You can wash all the pots and pans um, and it, you, you still have plenty of room. We had to restructure the area. You had to build a support, a wooden support to hold the farmhouse. Some sinks with water all weigh about 300 pounds. And so we had to structure, put a structure there 
that would support heavy weight. And the chairs, uh, the, not excuse me, not the chairs, the um, doors um, did not fit anymore. So they had to be either be cut down and remade into new doors. So instead, I wanted the opening to be open and I got this farmhouse ticking fabric on Etsy and I just made some cafe curtains. I just love the look. I had my my friends and followers on Instagram decide I had picked out four fabrics and I had them decide which one and they all almost unanimously went to the farmhouse ticking fabric. So I bought it and I made these curtains. Um, and I love them. I'm gonna change them out for the season, like for Christmas, I'll make some new ones. I have this rug that I put there just so when I stand there, it's a little, it's a sponge rug. I, I don't know what they're called, um, but they are, are kind of easy on your feet when you stand, you know, on it. It's very soft. The backsplash, I, like I said earlier, I was so sick of the cultural marble. It was just something that I was just tired of. We had had it for 16 years and I was just super tired. So we had done um, shiplap in our pantry to see if we could do shiplap. And actually my husband did a super job on it. And so I said, I want shiplap in my kitchen. And if you can see, there's a distance, quite a distance between the faucet and the wall, so the likelihood of water getting to the wall is probably slim, um, since I'm the only one that does dishes. I'm very careful. So we put the shiplap all the way to the floor. There's my other dog there. She is there watching. She's not understanding. She's already messed up the, the, the window. She's not understanding why she can't come in. Um, so we did the shiplap all the way to the floor all the way around behind the stove and behind the refrigerator to the floor. Now, I know that it can't be seen, but that's just kind of the way I am. If you're gonna do it in one way, on one side, I feel like it has to be done all over. The shiplap, I had thought about um, putting poly on it, but I have decided against it um, because I thought, well, maybe we need some polyurethane uh, because of the water splashes and everything. But yet, I have we have yet to get water up in that area. So I have just literally decided against it. This is my pot rack. My pot rack, I know it's old fashioned and it's not in style anymore, but I love my pot rack. I just do dishes, dry them, and the, clean those pots by hand and then just hang them up there. So I really do enjoy that. I read somewhere that it, the pot racks were so out of style, but you know what? I, it, <laughs> the style is yours and you can make it whatever it is and it's current because it's yours. My weighing scales back here, my antique scales, I actually use them. I, when I make my salsa, I um, weigh my tomatoes. I have to have three to four pounds tomatoes depending on the recipe that I'm making. And so I still, and it's very accurate. I still use that. So I am loving my kitchen. It is, we did not invest in cabinets. Um, we did not uh, do a complete demo, even though we lived off of, we had to put plywood on top of the, um, the cabinets when they came and pulled out the granite and we stayed without any kind of countertops for about a couple of weeks. We actually had about two weeks where there was no running water in the kitchen at all. So that was really, really, really hard. Um, these little stools I got on Amazon and I think there were two for hundred over a little over a hundred dollars and and I, I love them. And uh, they go in out of the way and you have absolutely more room. I don't know if I talked about my shelving uh, that I did last time. The shelves, I had stained them brown and left the corbels white. When I got them up there, I didn't like it. So I kind of, while they were up there, 
I kind of sanded them down a little bit, just roughed them up a little bit, and I chalk painted them white. And I really like them white a lot better. Um, I changed this out for the seasons. I would normally do a little bit more here, but like I said, it's so hard um, to do things with just one hand, and especially if it's not your dominant hand. This table is an enamel, old enamel table that I found out, found it at an antique shop outside, kind of rusting away, and I bought it and cleaned it up for like 40 bucks or something like that. It was super, super inexpensive, and so I just put all my coffee stuff there. So I, I don't know if I talked about my table. My table is, uh, it's an old table and it is just, um, I just put a tablecloth over it to for the seasons. And sometimes I'll leave it bare. This cabinet here, I put some of my Raydan stuff. I uh, try to uh, decorate it for the seasons. Um, I've not done a really good job this year. Uh, but I'm trying. <laughs> this high chair here is an old high chair that was passed down to my children uh, and passed down generations. And I have literally used it with my children and grandchildren. And um, we had to do a little bit of work to it, like support the trays. If you can see that the trays a little bit cracked, so we had to put some wood, furring woods underneath it to support it. It had a little doggy de decal on the backrest, but that uh, flaked away years and years ago. So I hope you have enjoyed my farmhouse tour, uh, my fall found farmhouse tour, um, and that you've gotten some ideas on how to decorate your home. Um, it's You can do things very simply. You can repurpose things, you can paint things. Um, you can just do things that are um, uh, just simple, simple to do. If you um, wanna see more in-depth pictures, you can go to my Instagram at Life on Mercedes Drive and you can see more in-depth pictures. Once this video comes out, I will post more, more pictures. So for now, I wanna thank Holly for having me here and for uh, asking me to come back and do a Christmas tour. So thanks a lot, everybody. Have a great day.